Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. You all asked me for more low carb recipes and I'm bringing them to you today. I'm gonna to teach you how to make a recipe that's ready in like 30 minutes. You really can't beat that. It's delicious, it's healthy. Let me tell you the name. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, my salmon. It's gonna be pan seared with a creamy spinach and feta sauce. So yummy, out of this world delicious and very easy to make. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're gonna make this dish. We're gonna need some olive oil, crushed red pepper flakes if you like some heat, salt, black pepper, a lemon, really good quality feta cheese, some garlic cloves, a few tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have a small onion that I finely chopped some salmon fillets, they have the skin on, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, and lots of spinach. So just season the salmon on both sides with some salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And before you put the salt and pepper, squeeze like half of a lemon's juice over your fish, and then more salt and more black pepper. I have a pan heating up over medium high heat. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil to it. And then I'm gonna put the fish in the pan and cook it four to five minutes on each side. For the last minute, I just turned them on their sides. Now you just wanna transfer them to a clean plate. Don't go and put them back on the plate that you season them on. So this is a new plate. Put them on here. At this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the onion along with the butter. And I'm also gonna season the onion with just a little bit of salt. And this is gonna cook over medium heat for about eight minutes or until the onion softens. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and grate the garlic. Once the onions are soft and golden, go ahead and add the garlic. Now, each stove top and pan that you use is different, so these onions Usually take eight minutes, but they took five today. So warm the garlic through just for not even a minute. Once you smell it, it's done. Then go ahead and add the roughly chopped spinach. It looks like a whole lot of spinach, but it's gonna cook down to almost nothing. So we're just gonna cook this over medium heat until it all wilts down. And in just two minutes, all of the spinach has wilted down to just such a small amount compared to the mountain that was here before. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add heavy whipping cream and make sure to season well. So I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt. Don't put too much salt because feta cheese is going to go in here and that's pretty salty. Now I like red pepper flakes for their heat. If you don't like them, leave them out and just put in some black pepper instead. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil, then I'm gonna reduce it to a simmer and I'm gonna cook it for about three to four minutes or until it thickens. After just two or three minutes, it begins to thicken, then go ahead and crumble in your feta cheese. And then go in and give it a taste and see if it needs more seasoning. Now you could do two things. You can serve this sauce on top of your fish, but I like to warm the fish. Oops. That's okay if that happens, just put it back together. Now you can pour the sauce right on top of the fish, but I like to put the fish right into the sauce so it could warm through just for a minute or so. I even like to put all these juices back in. And that's it, there you have it. Pan seared salmon in a spinach and cream sauce ready in no time. And just like that, in 30 minutes, you have a delicious, healthy meal ready. Now this goes very good with some roasted asparagus, zoodles, and if you're not counting the carbs, you don't need me to tell you that this would be amazing over pasta and maybe even some toasted delicious hearty bread. But we're not eating that these days, so we're not even gonna think about that. I'm gonna go in and take a bite, make sure I'm gonna get some spinach and feta and that lu luscious cream sauce. Mmm. Delicious is an understatement. That lemon, make sure you serve it with some lemon on the side because that lemon along with the cream sauce really lightens it up and freshens it up and just brightens everything up all together. It's just amazing. All of these flavors, this is probably my favorite way to eat salmon. I know you guys are gonna love it. The recipe, you can print it on my website as usual, www.demetrosdishes.com. Grab that link underneath, the, underneath this video in the description box down below. If you wanna see more low carb recipes, make sure you thumbs up the video. 
Thank you guys so much and I will see you all next time. Yes,